For this project, we're going to pick out a still life object. If you're in class, I have a bunch of different things that you can pick from. If you're at home, go ahead and look around for an object that you would like to draw. Make sure it's not too complicated, so then we can really focus on the color in this. We're really focusing on contrast for this project. Once you have your object, if you'd like to take a picture of it so you can look at a picture, go ahead and do that. If you'd rather just look at the object right in front of you, you can do that too. When we start drawing, we want it to be really, really zoomed in. We want to, for our object to take up most of our paper. It may even go off of the paper a little bit. When you're drawing your still life object, it's important to not only have it be really big, but to really notice the little details that are inside of it. So I noticed inside of my little candy piece here that there were a bunch of folds and a bunch of different colors throughout it. So when I was drawing, I decided to draw the different folds and to draw shapes where the colors are changing. When you're happy with your pencil drawing, you're going to take a ruler and a black marker, and we're going to make three lines that are going through our entire paper. Now it's really important that your lines are going through whatever your still life object is. If it's not going through where your still life object is, it won't work that well for this project. So just make sure that the line is going from one edge of the paper to the other edge of the paper, and that it's going through your still life object. You can make more than three lines if you'd like, but we should have at least three lines. Now that our still life is broken up into different sections, we're gonna color in some of our sections using black and white. So you'll want a black colored pencil and a gray colored pencil. This can also work with crayons if that's what you have at home. If you don't have a gray colored pencil or a crayon, you can always just use your regular pencil too. Now I had a clear area where the wrapper was, but if we look really closely at that wrapper, you can see that there's a bunch of different colors in there. So I wanna save the white spaces only for where there's those highlights. So most of my candy piece in the wrapper are going to be a gray color, and I'm going to slowly lighten up that gray color. Then when I wanna add darker areas, I'm using the black to darken it up. In our shadows, we're going to have it the darkest color, the darkest black you can get. If you wanna use a marker for this part, you can do that too. So here we're showing contrast with black and white. So the darkest color, black, is going to really contrast against the white areas, making the black and the white really pop. Now for the rest of our sections, we're going to be using color. And this will be contrasting against the black and the white areas really well, because we have really bright pops of color. For the shadows, instead of using black, go ahead and use a blue color. A lot of times, shadows have a little blue tint to them, it's not super obvious in real life, but we're gonna make it really obvious in this drawing. And then for any gray areas that I had in the wrapper, I'm gonna make those a light blue. When you're done coloring everything in with your colors, we're going to talk about the background. The background for our black and white areas are just going to stay white. You don't have to do anything for them. For our colorful areas, we wanna pick a bright color to put in our background, whatever color you'd like. I decided to do green because I thought that would look really nice with the yellow, the orange, and the blue. 